Hey Aries and welcome to your love tarot readings. We are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you. So these messages here are for those who do have a romantic connection in mind as I do the reading. Um, we're going to take a look and see whether he or she, uh, whether they're your destiny or a part of your destiny. As always guys, these messages do remain general, so please be mindful of that throughout the tarot spread. For those of you that may be interested in a more personalized tarot reading with me, please feel free to inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section, along with all the information that you will need. So the readings here are intended for Aries Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and of course for those of you that may be cross-watching as well. So let's see if we can see whether your special someone here, whether he or she is indeed your destiny. The star, six of pentacles, the high priestess, three of cups, the nine of swords, and the ace of pentacles, but it's up in reverse. Okay, so with the star card, um, this is beautiful. Okay, there's something quite um, fated or quite destined about this star card. Um, it can mean often that. Um, this person, your romantic, um, your special person here is like a wish come true. It's a wish manifested. This person may be, you may feel, you know, um, really inspired by them um, or that you're truly blessed to have this person in your life or they may feel this way about you. Um, there's a lot of hope, inspiration and um, a sense of faithfulness that's attached to this card here. Positivity, renewal. For those of you who, who are maybe going through some sort of difficult um, period or just um, you know a difficult timing um, with with regards to you and your connection, the star card has made an appearance here in your spread to remind you to have faith. Okay, it, the message here is to have faith and to keep faith. Whoever it is that you pray to, whoever it is that you believe in, God, Source, the Universe, um, Tarot guides, whoever it is. Um, it's just, yeah, because I feel like the fact that you have this person in your life and the fact that you have, you know, you've created these memories and you've created this connection with this person, it, that in itself is evidenced by, you know, how truly blessed and how truly um, generous the universe he has been with you, um, Aries, okay? So the star leads me to say that This person here, I, I feel like, because this guy is often associated with a time of healing, I feel like the two of you, he Aries, have been through something together. You've endured some hard times, you've endured, sorry, you've endured a breakup or some challenging times. Um, the star is a sense of uh, hope and optimism, and I feel like that can be very powerful for your connection right now. It could also indicate healing from a breakup. So for some of you, maybe the two of you have broken up. Um, this person is no longer in your life here. Um, this ties all about, if that's the case, this ties about rebuilding your confidence so that you can heal and that you can move forward. There is something very destined. To me, there is something very destined about the, the, the star card and with, you know, with regards to whether this person is your destiny or were, were a part of your destiny, I feel like it is. And I feel like for some of you, um, in order to heal this pain or in order to heal this connection, open communication is needed because there is great potential that exists between the two of you and this person is very much a part of your destiny and you are a part of theirs. With the Six of Pentacles, there's a disproportionate kind of energy here. There's a bit of an imbalance. So maybe the two of you are, you know, you're not, you're not vibrating to the same emotional frequency right now or the two of you just are at some sort of crossroads with one another. You're just wanting different things from out of the connection. Maybe someone here was a little bit more generous than um, than the other with regards to this connection. Maybe someone was putting in a little bit more effort here. Um, could be a little bit one-sided is what I'm getting here with the, the Six of Pentacles. 
it does tell me though because of the generosity and the you know the charitable nature of this card it does tell me that this person has made quite a profound effect on you and you have done the same to them now because of the glare i'm just going to move it over catching that glare there you've got the high priestess and the high priestess is urging you to use your intuition here okay um if you don't necessarily if the messages here don't resonate with uh with you with the tarot cards or um with, with, with these tarot guides or if there's you know if your friends or your family um if they're offering you advice that you don't feel like resonates with you and you feel like your intuition is trying to tell you otherwise listen to your intuition or you know uh, in fact i feel like you should su supplement your intuition with that of the tarot guides or the advice of your family and friends because at the end of the day your intuition i feel like is trying to relay a message to you about this person whether it is that you should heal the connection here you should heal um, and you, you, you know you can rebuild the connection or whether it is you should move on entirely because I feel like your, your, your intuition here is trying to signal something to you here. Because there is, there's a sense of like, uh, an, like um, and imbalanced measure here. It's like a measured compassion, isn't it? The fact that he holds the scales and the fact that the scales are imbalanced here. And you do have the three of uh, you do have the three of cups here, and the three of cups is um, it's love, it's, it's celebration here. Okay, um, compassion, support. You can predict often an engagement or a wedding. So look, maybe this is someone whom you thought you were going to end up getting married or engaged to. Maybe this is someone whom you are married or engaged to. You've made plans to do so. It's it, it, it's a perfect uh, uh, representation of like a, a, a symbol for celebration here. You've created a lot of good times here. The two of you have created a lot of memories. Um, you shared a lot of good times here. Happiness, celebration is what I'm seeing. But then to contradict this, you also have the Nine of Swords. And with the Nine of Swords, this is a connection that may be threatening your peace of mind here. Okay, so... You know, although this person has contributed to your happiness, I feel like they're also taking away from it. Or there is something here about the connection that is weighing on you. And I do get a sense that there's something disproportionate about this connection. Um, it feels a little one-sided. It feels a little off-balanced. Um, I do feel like this person is your destiny. But I don't know that you guys are, you know, on the, on the same vibrational match right now. You know, I don't feel like you're in each other's vortex. And that's okay because, you know... Um, Things are, cons are in constant fluidity, so that can change. That's not um, that's not set in stone here. So the Three of Cups, it's a positive sign that, you know, uh, it's a positive sign that there may be someone coming back from your past into your life, okay, this person, and I feel like your paths are destined to cross again, so you just have to sort of trust, um, trust in yourself and trust in the universe that the two of you will be able to uh, reconnect is what I'm seeing here because I feel like your paths are going to be reconnecting and I believe that you will be healing healing yourself or healing your hurt or your um, your heart here to let someone back in Aries is what I'm seeing I'm seeing a comeback after a rough patch um, and I feel like this person is very much a part of your destiny and I know it feels really uncomfortable but I feel like what's happened is um, I feel like sometimes you have to give someone, you know, the space and that time that they need in order to grow into who, we're, who they're destined to become and in order for the two of you to grow into, you know, the, the, the dynamic duo or the connection that this is destined to have uh, to, to become. So um, I'm seeing, yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like this person is very much a part of your destiny, even if you guys aren't, you know, on the same vibrational match right now or if you guys aren't communicating or if there's been some, uh, you know, uh, some hindrance here that's stunted the growth of your connection um Aries I just feel like I believe some paths are meant to reconnect I believe some paths are meant to reconnect and I believe that you know um Aries I'm seeing you or your special someone here doing a lot of uh healing here to let to let love back in and to let them back in into your life 
there you have it. So it does seem like the two of you are destined here, yeah, destined for one another. Thanks guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, by liking, commenting or sharing. For those of you that um, do want a personalized tarot reading, feel free to reach out. I will be sharing with you more general um, love readings also later in the week, so do stay tuned. Thank you guys again for your time and attention. Greatly appreciate it. Bye for now.